Hey everybody, we are going to do a little short little mod video showing off some of the things that we did to our camper. So first off, um, we have a Alliance Paradigm 365RD. It's the limited edition, uh, meaning it's discontinued, um, so you can't buy these anymore. Um, but it should apply to most of the Alliance Paradigms. Um, so I'm just going to pan around and kind of give you a quick little view of our uh, our camper. Um, so this is a, um, the kitchen area, um, if you're not familiar with the Paradigms. And then we have this like raised living area. Um, that you can see and we took the um, the couch out over here um, we'll talk about that a little bit more then um, we have a dinette here that we redid also and we'll talk a little bit about that um, and this is kind of looking at the front door um, we're at Lake Fairfax right now in, in northern Virginia then there's some steps and a, a bathroom and then a bedroom and we have washer and dryer in there um, with our closet so um, in here you have the little we have a king size bed um, we put a little shelf in over here. Um, this is like a a, um, a book stand or something, magazine stand. Um, so we could put a CPAP in because, you know, there's not enough space on the sides. Maybe that's not really even a mod. Um, but that is one little thing that we did that we found kind of nice. Then if we sneak in here to the shower, um, we put these little, like, um, you can't even see them. They're round suction cup things that we got, like, at Camping World. You can see, like, there's stuff, like, hanging up on them. Those are so cool in the shower. That like seems very handy. Um, we replaced the um, the fa the faucet right here. This is an Oxygenix. Um, it makes it so it's basically high pressure. Um, and if you don't want to replace the one, you just want a little more pressure. If you open this up, there's a little plastic little thing in here you can remove um, to increase the water pressure a little bit. Um, but it won't increase it a whole lot um, unless you you get like an Oxygenix head. Then um, this is the kitchen. I can't think of anything that we did really kind of mind-blowing in the kitchen but this is a big change so I'll post some videos maybe in the corner or something normally there is this like kind of square looking um, dinette here that kind of faces this way and normally you have four chairs two on each side that face each other but the problem is like when you sit here facing this way and there's a table in the middle you keep hitting like the back here it's not really like two and the chairs were really kind of uncomfortable so the first thing we did is we rotated the table that made it immensely um, better because then, you know, you're sitting here facing out instead of like facing each other. So you can look out and I was using it as a desk, but the chair was really uncomfortable. So we finally went out and we did some measuring and everything. And so this is what we ended up with. We ended up with this really cool uh, um, desk, believe it or not. And this specific desk we got at Office Max. I'm not trying to sell the desk or anything, um, but it's a um, adjustable desk. So you saw like it went up, like it, it'll go way, way, way super up. Um, if you want it to be a standing desk and you can see that there's all this like kind of gap here now and then if you just push on it it goes right back down so basically i can adjust the desk so it's the right height for me um or for whoever else and then the other thing we did is i got this super fancy um office chair and that makes it way better for uh, um for working long term than sitting at the the um the regular uh kitchen dinette tables chairs that come with it and then you're, you're like, well, how do you do dinner here? Because normally I put the laptops away when we have dinner. Well, one of us will sit in the office chair and we just kind of push it to the side like that. You know, you can see there's plenty of room for another chair. And then we have a folding chair that we pull out for um, for the other person because there's just two of us. Um, and then you have like your, your dining area um, and everything, which is real nice. Normally I don't have this many laptops out, um, but today was a crazy day and I actually needed all this stuff. Um, but it's nice to have all the room so you can do that. Um, and then I, I love this monitor, by the way, if you're shopping for a monitor and you don't mind spending some money, I, I love this monitor. Um, this is a Samsung Odyssey, Odyssey G7. This is a 27 inch. You can get the 32 inch if you want to be a little bit bigger. Um, but I didn't want to block the windows and the 27 was more than big enough for me. Uh, but the Samsung Odyssey G7, it's a one millisecond monitor, um, 240 um, hertz display rate. I'm only getting 120 because most hardware won't actually support 240, so it's kind of future-proof a little bit. But anyway, cool monitor. Not trying to sell it to you, but it's cool. Um, you can buy it from a million different places. I'm not. I don't even know like where to tell you to buy that. So anyway, so if we go up to our living room area, um, we have like all this stuff because we obviously we have a corgi and we have two cats. There's one of them there. There's another one there. So anyway, the big change um, was this area right here. So before, if I slide over here, it looked like this. On both sides so we had three couches for two people three couches a little op um you know because you have this and reclines and everything this folds out into a queen size bed and then there was another one here and when there's only two people you don't really need three beds and you don't need to have two couches and a uh, 
a love seat or whatever. Um, and this, this thing does like pop up if you're wondering, so like whatever. Um, so we took it out. When you take it out, however, um, you'll notice it is not flush with the ground because it's on a slide. It's a couple, uh, like six inches above the ground. So we were trying to figure out for a while we had like a folding table here, but the problem was you couldn't really get underneath it, you know, because your feet would stick up right here. So that was a, like a problem. So we needed something that would kind of stick out. So you can see now it sticks out and this has a mechanism where it actually folds down. And uh, I don't actually remember what this thing was called. I want to say it's called a cocktail table or something. And this one specifically that we got um, normally has wheels on the bottom of it. But the wheels were the same size as the slide, so it ended up working out perfectly where we just didn't put the slide. It came assembled and they wanted to just put the wheels on it, so we just didn't put the wheels on it in and it fits perfectly. And the whole thing, if I move her back just for a second, and hopefully I don't um, destroy it in the process, collapses. So if I just push on a little bit, you can see that it moved a little bit. Anyway, it collapses. I'm not gonna like fuss with it too much because it's like being like difficult and her stuff is on it. But anyway, um, it collapses down. And when it collapses down, um, it'll be flush with this, flush with the slide. And uh, when the slide goes all the way in, it only goes up to the edge of this fireplace right here. And the other one only goes to this edge of this fireplace. So even if we left it out, and we probably would not normally leave it out, um, it still would probably go in and, and not touch anything and there'd be space to put underneath it. Um, the monitors themselves, those are her work monitors, so there's probably nothing that we can do about them. But if they were not her work monitors, they make these um, little stand things that you can buy. I think they're like $50 on Amazon or Best Buy or wherever you want to buy them at. And um, they clip on like very sturdily. And if you don't think that's sturdy enough, you can actually drill like a little hole in this or whatever and then screw them in and it, like permanently put them in a position where they won't move um, and they support like 20 pound monitors and and these are like five pound monitors so even going down the road they probably wouldn't move um, but right now we tear them down and we lay them down on their face like on uh, like a pillow or something um, between the couches when we move um, but that was a big modification we made and so to get the couch out if you're wondering it's actually just four screws um, and a bracket and I actually have the brackets here this is what the brackets look like so like on the floor There'll be this underneath the couch and you just unscrew these two screws right here and then um, on each side though so there'll be one here and one here and there's two brackets in my hand if you can't tell um i'll separate them so there's two brackets in my hand but anyway um you unscrew the two and then you can take the couch out easily enough and then there's two holes in the bottom you can take those screws out and then you can remove the brackets so the brackets aren't even sticking up and then you have this kind of big square area and then you figure out what you want to put there and that's that's what we put there and uh, and once again she has the same office chair um, you want to pick the office chair that you want um, the thing specific about the office chairs that i'd recommend is make sure that the arms will go up and down so then um, you can fit it underneath like the kind of lower ch tables and then more importantly um, also make sure that um, underneath them where the um, the arms are there's one of these like twist knobs where you can remove the arm fully um, because in some cases you might want to remove the arms fully so it's easier to kind of get into the spots because you have a closed area. You do not want high arms or big giant arms or anything like where it's like a gaming um, chair where it has like these big arms because probably the arms will, will not work for you. We had some other chairs when we first moved into our camper full time that didn't work in here. We thought that they would work and um, they, did, they wouldn't work. They were the ones that we had been using long term. So we bought new ones. And that's really one of what I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm trying to think of other mods that we did. We put the flag on the back of the camper. Um, there's another video that I can link that shows you the flag. Um, but that's basically it. Um, and none of this stuff is really bolted in yet. Um, I think it's heavy enough. It's not going to move, honestly, going down the road, but we could work on bolting it in. Um, and I could lower these um, tables to the, so they munch on the the armrests so the chairs won't even go anywhere um, which which is kind of cool so anyway um, hopefully this video kind of helps somebody out if um, they want to put desks in a uh, alliance paradigm and uh, once again I mean so we have the 365 RD um, model um, but I think that, the, that this kind of applies to that most of the paradigms have like this kind of same type of couch or something kind of similar and almost all campers have have this arrangement and I would just say measure it. Um, but for us, I think it was 67 inches across and about 35 inches deep-ish. 
and this table is about 30 inches this way and about 60 inches this way and there's just a little you know a little bit of space on both, on both sides um, which which actually turned out to be pretty good so you can sneak stuff down on the sides like we put the chair on the one side and I can sneak wires and stuff so anyway please like and subscribe and hopefully uh, you enjoy this thank you